After 300 days of blood, sweat, and sawdust, this DIY camper van is finally road ready. I've outfitted it with a more than capable solar electric system, filtered running water, a full kitchen and bathroom, fridge, multiple windows, mechanized bed, and diesel heater. These features all culminate into one capable, versatile off-grid camper van. So come along and I'll give you the grand tour. Alright, welcome inside my van. This tour has been a long time coming and I'm really excited to show you what we built here. Let's start with the kitchen. So this here is my kitchen. I have a induction cooktop for cooking, boiling water, making tea, anything like that. I have a full size sink for washing and drinking. The countertop itself we reclaimed from an old desk. And the top drawer here is mainly for my utensils and cooking instruments. It's got some odds and ends, but it's mainly just tools. The second drawer is my instant pot, my pots and pans, cutting boards, and my mugs. And the last drawer is my fridge. It's a chest style 12 volt fridge from Aspenora and its capacity has been perfect for my needs. And this drawer here is something that I didn't really expect to have in the van, but it's my junk drawer. Inside I've got things like playing cards, earplugs, sunscreen, a sewing kit, matches, just things that don't really have a place anywhere else in the van end up here. And the only cupboard on this side holds the most critical thing for van life, toilet paper. And this is the sink. I'm really happy with the one that I chose. The matte black looks really nice matching the faucet. Obviously we have running water and that water drains directly into a five gallon bucket, which is acting as my gray water tank. The gray water tank has a valve on it that I can open and close whenever I wanna dump something and it goes straight outside the van. Underneath my sink, there is also my filtration system. It's a three stage water filter. I just drink water straight from the tap and it tastes great. And next to the kitchen, we have the booth. The design of the booth was something that I thought a lot about. I wanted a space that would be comfortable for eating and working on my laptop and that could convert into a couch. A tall order for such a small space, but we actually managed to make it work. So how does it convert to a couch? Underneath the table, there are two metal pipes that are connected. Simply unscrew the top pipe from the bottom one, slide the table into place, and within a few seconds, there's another place to lounge in the van. And naturally, in a van build, you can't waste a single inch of space. So underneath both the seats in the booth, we have storage. And this is the bed. I got a custom cut five inch foam mattress. And if you've watched the build video, then you already know my feelings on that. But overall, I love the bed. Having the bed horizontal in the van was one of the first things I planned out for my design. So given my height, I knew I had to go with a Ram Promaster. Having a fixed bed is more than enough for most people, but I really wanted to do something else with the space. One of the things that I really wanted to add to the bed was a mechanism that would lift it at the press of a button. And so I did. When I was planning the build, I had no idea where to start in this feature, but I'm really glad that it turned out how it did because when it's lounged, it works perfectly with one of my favorite features in the van, the projector screen. This was my solution to having a big screen in the van without having to store a big screen in the van. I'm so happy to have this in the van because I love watching videos and playing video games, so this was just the perfect solution for me. And you can't mention the bed without talking about the skylight. I love this thing. It lets in so much natural light, it shows a beautiful view both day and night, and it makes the space feel much bigger. While we're talking about the ceiling, let's take a look at my ventilation system. This is my Max Air Fan. They're pretty common, lots of vans have them, but they can be improved in so many different ways. One of the ways I improved it was by installing my own custom knob. My brother and I 3D designed a replacement knob that would go exactly where the old one did. And if you're like me and hate smacking your knuckles against the sides of the plastic when you're trying to open and close it, I've left a link in the description right below the like button. Next, let's talk about the bathroom. A bathroom was a really high priority on my list of needs for a van because I didn't really want to have to rely on public toilets or going in the woods. And while it's not glamorous, I'm really happy with how the toilet turned out. The toilet itself is a DIY composting toilet. I am not spending $1,000 on a nature's head and pretty much everything is contained within this box. I installed a silent 12 volt computer fan into it and it's controllable via this module. If you want more detail about how I actually built it, check out the build video. They've probably been hard to miss throughout this video, but these are my upper cabinets. 
Having upper cabinets is one of the best ways to maximize your storage in a van. When we installed them, we made sure they were tightly secured to the ceiling. And each of them is fitted with a gas strut, which is really convenient because you don't have to waste a hand holding them up. While I'm not completely moved in yet, inside this one I have plates, bowls, and my heated blanket because it's winter in Canada and it's very cold. On this side, the cabinet is shorter just to make sure there's enough headspace when you're sitting in the booth, but there's still enough storage for my snow pants, my drone, and other odds and ends. And in the last two back here, I just had pillows, blankets, and my projector. And lastly for the interior, we have the windows. I have one bunk window for the bed and a larger square window for the booth. These windows are great for both ventilation and the natural light that they let in. They both have screens so bugs aren't an issue. And overall, they're great features in the van. Now let's head outside. Out here, there's just a few things left to cover. Let's take a look. Firstly, this here is my water inlet. It's how I get water into the 32 gallon tank inside the van. Simply open it, put your hose in, and you're good to go. Also in the exterior of the van are these outdoor LED lights. They are extremely bright. And I'm honestly happy that I have them because they're perfect for checking what that noise was or simply lounging when you're at camp. Also on this side of the van is where the toilet fan exhausts to. And back here is the garage. This is where I store things like my tools, my shovel, my axe, my hose, as well as my diesel fuel canister, and it's where my water tank and electrical system live. Like I said before, I have a 32 gallon water tank that fits over top of my wheel well, and it connects to the water system in my van. I have a regular 12 volt pump, which I turn on and off with a switch and it pumps right to my sink. My entire electrical system is also underneath here. I have way more details about it in my van build video, but to quickly summarize the main details, I have a DIY 230 amp hour lithium battery, a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, 350 watts of solar on the roof, and a 40 amp DC to DC charger. Also housed back here is my diesel heater. And finally, let me show you the front. Now up here, I haven't really done much, but what I have done has been really helpful. I installed a backup camera that turns on at the switch of a button, and it's been a lifesaver at times. There's also a switch near the cup holders that controls the DC to DC charger. Being able to charge your house batteries while you drive is such a nice perk of the DC to DC charger. And this switch here allows me to turn it on and off whenever I want. It's nice to have the flexibility to be able to turn it on and off from the driver's seat. And with that, that's it for the cab. Thanks for joining me on this tour of my DIY van conversion. I hope you found it entertaining and got some inspiration for your van. If you're curious about the build process, you already know I have a full video on that right here. Or if you're more curious about why I chose to live in a van in the first place, click here. I'll be continuing to document my van life journey, so make sure to subscribe so you can join me on my next adventure. Keep exploring, and I'll see you on the road.